Bruce from the Universal Carrier. This is a little tutorial on, on this unit. It's a 12 volt system, 1500 pound ram inside this tower. Plugs right into your seven prong plug. Comes up to the switch. Basically what we're doing is we're replacing ramp you know, ramp uh, carriers strictly from a, a safety standpoint so one person can do this instead of one, two, or three. The other reason that we're doing this is I personally don't like hauling a trailer. I don't like paying a registration for it. I don't like trying to find a place to park it. And I don't like traveling 55. I can't drive 55. I got to have, you know, I travel with a, a 600 pound KTM 1190 at 70, 75 miles an hour when I'm going through California and other states. So basically what this is, is it's a multi-use carrier. That's why we call it the universal carrier. We can put dirt bikes, a single. We can put an adventure bike on it. We can also put a snow bike on it. It's 10 feet long in this tray. We can also slide in a secondary tray identical to this where you can put in a dirt bike one way, another dirt bike the other way. That way you can go down the road one person safely and tie them down. Now we've gone to a little different strap system. We've narrowed it up. We have two points at this end, two points in the center here and here, and two points at this end. But the key to this is we're grabbing a hold of the bike at the frame right here. So we're actually locking in the frame to this so it can't go anywhere whether you have straps or not but we are going to put straps on it just so we feel really comfortable about it so again this unit will take you all the way up four inches higher than the actual elevation of the hitch on common carriers that's as far as you can go we can go much higher than that now there's another there's other alternative adapters that we have for this. We're building for the large earth roaming vans that are you know, like F750s with these monster uh, you know, uh, houses on them. Those hitches are up around 30 inches. And same thing with motorhomes. We're building a parallelogram that will lower down and come back up using the stroke of this 17 inch ram. So you'll see some carriers with a 6 inch stroke in a parallelogram that will give you like an 18 or 24 inch lift. You can imagine the kind of height that we can get with a 17 inch ramp. So that's coming. Additionally, when we put a snow bike on these, we put them on, raise it up, turn them at a 45. Ski is up at this corner. Tracks are down at this corner. So you can go down the road in the winter time in four wheel drive. Again, I don't like hauling a trailer in the snow. So that's one of the reasons that we're designing this. We have other adapters where you can slide in a secondary tray identical to this. Put a four-wheeler on here, up to a five, six, seven hundred pound four-wheeler. So you can use double trays to go down the road doing that as well. The key to this is combining this lift with a top link. We have an eye at the top of this that com combines against the bumper. So we're using a triangular shaped lift assembly similar to a farm tractor we have a top link so we're lifting here but we're stabilizing and taking the pressure off of the easy hitch with the top link going into the bumper assembly okay this is a uh, husky 701 it weighs 330 pounds one person so if you walk it up, push it on, put it to this point, lean it over, you'll be having some rubber pads that are in the two, four, and six inch thickness that you push your bike against. So you're, again, tying it down to that center arm. Tie your points down, raise it up, off you go. And vice versa, when you finish, just pull the bike away from it, back up. That's it.
Okay, we just loaded the 1190, pushed it on. I'm not going to go through all the straps. You can figure things out. We're going to put a couple straps here, down to here. We're going to put a, another strap here, up to here. Same in the back, and two in the back coming forward. And remember, the critical part is when we tie into this with that rubber piece and strap it against that, it's not going anywhere. So this is a 550-pound bike. And the vehicle is not even on. So we're just going off of 12 volt or maybe low 12 volt. But you can see it, this is not an issue for this unit at all. It's up to just under 1,600 pound capacity. They have a top out of 1,700 pounds, but I kind of like staying on the low side. But basically, this is the amount of time it takes to get up there. And when we're up here, it's already tied down. You just walk around your unit and make sure everything is sanitary and safe. Off you go. And again, the height of this is four inches higher than the, than the hitch itself. So when you're entering and exiting in, in uh, hilly areas with this four-wheel drive sprinter, for example, or whatever vehicle that you have, you've got a lot of area. It's not long. You only back here tight. That's why we went with the narrow profile. We don't have the big, long tie downs that you can hook or people can run into. We're also going to put reflectors on here so people can see what's going on. So that's it for the 1190. Now we'll go to the snow bike. Okay, the snow bike's on the tray. Let's assume it's tied down. Basically what happens is you bring it up to the height again. This carrier is going to be another 18 inches up here, so the whole bike is going to be about two foot higher with the other adapter. Basically what happens is it goes up to this point, turned to a 45, it's pinned in the turntable, skis up here, track down here in the bottom right. If you find that the track is not on far enough, you just load it a little farther forward, binder down. When you come up here to the top, even if you need to, you can turn the ski or simply put the wheels on and take the ski off if you want to pick up that extra two feet. So that's how we do the snow bike. Okay, when you come home and you want to take this off, you've got two options, without casters or with casters. But basically, you're going to back up in your garage or wherever you want. This carriage just slides right into the hitch. You can raise and lower it to the sweet spot. And then basically lower it down where you take the weight off the pin, pull your pin. Raise and lower this a little bit to get it so it's loose. It's nice with casters because then you just take and wiggle it and roll it right off. But you get the idea. So it's a one-man operation where you can back up on the cement, take your hitch off without hurting yourself and without having a bunch of people in. So that is how we store the unit.